Talk to us about this new push, this digital concierge concept, and why you think it's sort of natural that the airline that should uh, provide the app that provides all these uh, further experiences beyond just, say, booking a flight. Well, first of all, thank you for having us. We're excited to be out here at CES. First time an airline ever delivered the keynote that opened CES, and we we're pleased to do that this morning. And one of the themes that we had for the conference is how to put the C back into CES, the consumer back into the electronics show. And as part of that, one thing we know is there's stress in travel, uh, particularly in the, in the ground experience, as the airports that we've built uh, that, that we operate today were built for a bygone era of travel. And so we're investing billions of dollars in infrastructure, uh, airports everywhere from New York and LaGuardia to LAX to Seattle to, to Atlanta and Salt Lake City. And as we're undertaking these massive infrastructure investments, we want to also embed that with the technology alongside that to make consumer uh, experience that much easier to, to navigate. One of the things that we talk about is the importance of our app, the Fly Delta app, is already a top rated travel app. And when customers use it, we know their, their satisfaction scores are up double digit from those that don't use it. And now we have an opportunity to create a real digital concierge in your pocket. You know, we'd love to have one of our famed Redcoats walking beside you, taking care of your needs. It's just not possible, but through technology we can. I had the, one of the co-founders of Lyft with me, John Zimmer on stage this morning, talking about how we're integrating Delta and Lyft to provide better information, whether it's you know, insight as to how long it's going to take to get through a security queue, how long it's going to get to the airport, right. having a lift waiting for you when you when you land and arrive at a yeah. new destination, but all the way through to, you know, why can't you let us, you know, you know, get to the point where we can pick your bags up at home, deliver it to your destination, you travel on us, you don't worry about the baggage overhead, you don't worry right. about the carousel, you don't worry so about checking. And, and have it leave there. But all that's going to be in, embedded by having a digital concierge, which we see in the, the Fly Delta app. So, Ed, so, I mean, doing all that, I mean, that sounds great. Uh, there are a lot of apps that, that at least attempt to do uh, some, if not all, of what you said, apps that have probably spent uh, hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars to develop. How much is this going to cost you to build this? And do you think that the return on that investment is going to be worth it? The return is absolutely worth it, and you're right, others have tried it, but no one the scale and the size of Delta has tried it. We're the largest airline in the world. We're the most awarded airline in the world. We have the best people in the world in the airline industry, and there's no task too big for us. So when we say we're going to do it, we have credibility because we are the best performing in reliability and on time and our best baggage scores in the industry. And so by taking the steps that we've had to build the technology, infrastructure, and background to be able to capture the data, for our consumers, that's going to be the, the, the backbone through which we're going to deliver this. Now, it's going to take some time, and we're going to walk before we run. We're not going to overcommit. But the, the focus of my keynote was laying out a vision five years from now, what travel can be five years, and everything from security to baggage to the in-flight, entertainment on board your plane, to what we're doing about sustainability. Uh, let's talk about some other big issues uh, that may concern a, a global airline. How concerned are you about the security right now of passengers and employees in light of rising uh, tensions globally, particularly related to Iran? Well, safety and security is our number one uh, objective at all times, with today's, today's news or at any point. And I'm not, I'm not concerned at all with respect to the focus that we have in taking people, uh, whether it's the security in the airport or the safety as they travel with Delta. So, you know, certainly I think the, uh, the intelligence that we receive, we're, we're closely linked with government sources and we, we make changes and, and move things around with TSA and customs as necessary. But no, that travel and, and, and the security of travel is not something I'm concerned with. You know, one thing we are watching is fuel prices, which, which have gone up. Right. So uh, talk about just the demand side uh, with regards to uh, air travel in general. Um, we've seen in the most recent earnings report, there appears to be a pretty, uh, uh, I guess, symbiosis going on out there between capacity uh, and the amount of uh, flyers uh, who want to fly. Uh, what's your outlook there? Our outlook is strong. We're going to be recording our, our year-end results next week. And I can't give you the... Can't give you the fourth quarter news quite yet, but we'll, we'll tell you next week. All right. But what I can tell you going into the holidays, and the holidays were very strong for us. All right, uh, and we're strong, strong revenue gains. Uh, this year, 
This year as a whole, we're up about uh, 7%.